2020 continues with Elizabeth Vargas. Every few years, something rekindles the passionate debate in this country on breastfeeding. This time, the controversy is over a government ad campaign that many say tries to frighten mothers into nursing and seems to send a message that feeding your baby formula is not just second best, but actually bad for your child. What's the truth, and why are we so squeamish about something other cultures find natural? Does watching this video make you feel uncomfortable? If so, you're not alone. Many Americans are uneasy when it comes to women nursing in public. That may be one reason why we have one of the lowest rates of breastfeeding in all the industrialized countries. Whenever I see a mother breastfeed in public, I always go over and say to her, what a wonderful mom you are. Lactation consultant Amy Spangler, along with scientists, doctors, and even the baby formula industry, all agree the breast is best. Studies show feeding babies breast milk significantly reduces the number of infectious diseases they suffer. So, the U.S. government decided to spend $2 million to promote breastfeeding in an ad campaign. Spangler consulted on the campaign. We teach immunizations, we teach car seat safety, we teach mothers to use bicycle helmets, but we don't teach anything to mothers about breastfeeding. The campaign could have focused on the significant health benefits of breast milk. Instead, it did something else. Our opponents today, Katie is nine months pregnant, and Jenny is about eight and a half. Balance could be an issue here. The television ads focused on the risk of not breastfeeding. Recent studies show babies who are breastfed are less likely to develop ear infections, respiratory illnesses, and diarrhea. Babies were born to be breastfed. And that touched a nerve among women who chose to feed their baby formula. Yeah, that angered me. I don't think that that's the answer. Where log rolling as a pregnant woman is equated to bottle feeding your child. I think it's vastly different. And those who did breastfeed. We can speak about all the benefits of breastfeeding till the cows come home, but it doesn't make anybody breastfeed anymore. You don't think that kind of ad makes a woman who can't breastfeed feel badly? I feel sad that this ad makes people feel sad, but we need to be clear about this, that any amount of breast milk a baby gets is a gift. Sitting next to you, being the person that bottle feeds, well, I, I almost feel as if you're saying, I, I didn't give any gifts to my child. I'm struck by the fact, Jen, that you sound defensive. Yeah. Do I? Yeah, you do. Which, which makes <laughs> me wonder if you've been made to feel Maybe, I think right than. now I'm starting to feel that way. Using a risk-based focus is always a difficult arena to venture into uh, and it's always controversial take a look for yourself do you think it's suggesting that formula feeding a baby is harmful babies were born to be breastfed it's basically negative advertising okay? and it's designed to frighten people Dr. Myron Peterson of the Cato Institute, a private research foundation, reviewed the public literature on breastfeeding for the baby formula industry. One of the worst things you can do is to force or coerce or cause a woman to breastfeed when she really doesn't want to because that's a recipe for disaster. If you're frustrated and you're stressed, the baby's going to feel it and sense it as well. And I was so much happier bottle feeding and I saw a difference in my child. What's wrong with scaring some new mothers into saying, you might save your baby's life by nursing that baby? I think there are better things that can be done. Like what? Improvements in the workplace. And on that point, even the strongest advocates of breastfeeding agree. Much more needs to be done to encourage companies to make it easier on nursing mothers. 60% of mothers with small children are in the workforce. Companies are only required to give 12 weeks of maternity leave, and just a third of those companies provide rooms for moms to nurse or pump milk. I think it's irresponsible of the government to put a, a, a commercial on and say this is what you must do and then not assist individuals to do it. You need to go to your employer early in your pregnancy. You need to say to them, let's talk about what kind of accommodation we can make. And I think some people would say, well, you know, what have you been smoking? <laughs> Isn't it completely unrealistic to expect these women to be such super women? I haven't been smoking anything. I have mothers every day that um, I speak with who, yes, they are talking to their employers. Critics also say it's hypocritical for the government to promote breastfeeding without addressing the negative reactions many nursing mothers get when they breastfeed in public. 
if they were to have an ad of a woman actually breastfeeding, I think there would have been a lot of uproar in a different way of, you know, why are you showing that publicly? I remember there was a Friends episode where <laughs> Joey was looking at Rachel breastfeeding and he was having a little problem with it. Do you think my nipples are too big for her mouth? <laughs> Scared. Doesn't she look scared? You, you know, I don't really know her. <laughs> Why don't we try massaging the breast to stimulate the flow? Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is a country that came to a standstill when Janet Jackson's breast was exposed for a second on national television. Is it any wonder nursing women are experiencing a lot of hostility or discomfort when they try and nurse their babies and expose their breast? We're challenging those mothers, please. Come out of the closet, come out of the bathroom, come out of the back room, you know, and feel comfortable breastfeeding. In the end, supporters of the advertising campaign say it was simply addressed to raise awareness, to encourage women to buck the national trend and start breastfeeding. Well, I think there should be campaigns to remind women that breastfeeding is better, but I don't think it should be that harsh. One thing all the women feel the same about is that in many ways the government's ad campaign puts the cart before the horse. And that a lot of laws and a lot of attitudes still need to be changed to keep the number of women breastfeeding from falling.